Good afternoon. Um, today is Tuesday, January the 15th, 2019. This is the Personnel, Public Information, Human Relations and Housing Committee. I do detect a quorum. Um, thanks for everyone for uh, attending. I apologize for my delay from another committee. So let's uh, dig right into our agenda. The first item on our agenda is Resolution 2019-1549. The sponsors are Berger, Gilmore, and Withers and approves the employment contract for the Chief Medical Director of the Metro Government of Nashville and Davidson County. Do we have someone from health here? I know there was some um, possibility that the uh, Chief Medical Director may not be able to attend today. So I will move that to the heel for this moment. Um, is there a, another motion? Mm -hmm. I'd move approval. Move approval? Yeah. Okay. That's the will of the committee. I will uh, motion to approve. All in favor? Uh, Any opposed? None. Okay. Very good. Next is resolution 2019-1557. Sponsors are Virtue and Withers. Approves a contract between the Metro Government and Azteca Systems, LLC to provide the enterprise license agreement for City Works software. Is there a motion? It's on the table. Is there any discussion? It is about here. Talk about that. Uh, Director Durbin, any any insights that you could provide from IT? Uh, this is just a sole source that enables us to have licensing for the City Works application that is used kind of as the center point of all the codes work we do that integrates into systems used by about 40 departments and agencies, um, and then also provides the asset management and work order tracking system for uh, public works, um, stormwater, and we're talking with parks, and this will enable us to roll this out to parks as well. It's just the licensing component. There's okay. no, nothing else. All right. All right. Any other discussion? Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? Thank you very much. All right. Next is Resolution RS 2019-1563. The sponsors are uh, Council Members Mendez and Rosenberg. Council Member Mendez is here. This uh, resolution encourages transparency by the Health and Education Facilities Board of the Metro Government. Is there a motion? Motion. Motion. It's on the table. Thank Any God discussion from the sponsor? <laughs> Sure, so the uh, Metro's Health and Education Facilities Board is a very weird um, entity. It is, uh, it's got the word Metro in it, um, but it's a, a separate corporation, not controlled um, by Metro. The only thing we get to do is appoint board members, and uh, they've got the ability to issue tax-exempt bonds uh, in Metro's name. Metro isn't liable, but um, uh, schools, hospitals, um, et cetera, will usually get the bonds issued. Um, they're uh, not terribly transparent at the beginning of this term um, in rules. We we made them put their agendas online. Their board materials are still not online. Um, when they issue bonds, the, uh, some of the documentation that Metro puts online, they don't put online. Um, and uh, so this, this would be a non-binding resolution asking them to um, uh, provide a publicly available link for their board materials to provide the forms they file with the state when they issue bonds and uh, to provide a publicly available description of their process for accepting and considering requests for the issuance of debt obligations. And then the last thing that it does is encourage um, uh, Mr. Durbin's department, ITS, to help them get the information online. And Mr. Durbin said he's got no problem with yeah, that. So uh, that's the point of it. I have a question. So you, through, yeah. you said that in rules we already asked them to do this? We asked them to put their agenda. Online. Is that one of the times where we like verbally ask them, will you do this? So we didn't pass anything yet. Okay, so we're going to pass this, and then what's our next step if they don't do it? Um, uh, well, uh, my opinion is we've, because they're, they are, although the word metropolitan government is in their name, they're not a part of the metropolitan government. My view would be if they don't care to play along with our transparency um, standards that we stop uh, appointing new board members and let them die. Okay. That's my I'm in. Opinion. Move for approval. Oh, you had a question. I'll that. Thank you. <laughs> Any other discussion? All right. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? <laughs> All right. 
it. Thanks very much, folks. Yeah. I do have a late filed resolution. Um, there were some extenuating circumstances in it. It's a little bit um, uh, time sensitive. So, as far as would there be an objection to suspension of the rules? I will also go to the rules committee. But uh, is there a concern in this committee about is it this suspension one? of the rules? You're right. It's no. a it's a um, National Career Advancement Center. Move for approval. What is the bill? Uh, it. Um, thank you for asking that. It accepts a grant from the State uh, Department of Finance Administration through the Career Advancement Center to serve youth and young adults with trauma. Uh, any other details that you care to add? Uh, so this is money coming through down through the Federal Victims of Criminal Acts uh, grant. And we've been working with the state on this for a long time. It's kind of initial round of funding where if we show them we're able to get this money in our contract and get services out to young people in very kind of distressed, disadvantaged communities, then we'll be able to get a 2.2 million or more uh, funding, but we need to get this under contract. And we would not be filing late except for the fact that the state got it to us uh, so late. Move for approval. All right. All in favor? Uh -huh. Any opposed? No. Great. Thank you. Um, the last item on our agenda is um, Bill Bill 2019-1472. Uh, sponsors are Councilmembers Bedney and Sledge. Councilmember Bedney is present. This amends Section 2.2 of the Metro Code <laughs> to require an appropriation to the bonds fund for affordable housing equal to future economic and community development incentive grant payments. Is there a motion to? Motion. Motion? It's on the floor. Uh, Councilmember Bennett, would you? Uh, uh, I'm actually. More about your bill? Uh, I'm planning on uh, defer tonight and, and do some adjustments to the legislation. When we discussed that budget yesterday, um, I got some good feedback that I want to incorporate. But I wanted to see if you guys have any suggestion that we could incorporate in the legislation. And then uh, I will be bringing it back uh, for you guys to review uh, later. But the, the main goal is to bring equity into uh, how do we do incentives. So for any incentive plan that the city may have, I think half of it should go to cover the impact that incentive will create. Uh, this is not an effort to duplicate the incentive, but to, as we budget incentives, to look at, at the actual cost that it has on, on the city. It has come to my attention that, uh, for example, and this is not about Amazon or any particular agency, but it has come to my attention that Amazon is already uh, engaged with a private uh, realtor to buy thousands of units in the city uh, for their employees. So that right there shows you that uh, uh, there is uh, consequences to incentives that can have an impact on property values. And uh, my point of view is that uh, the people that help build this city that live here for, I mean, I've lived here for 23 years. Uh, I shouldn't have to worry that I won't be able to live here anymore uh, because of the city's growth. So we should also be looking at how we can help people stay in their places. And the Barnes Fund, the beauty of it is that each intervention is different. Uh, for example, I'm getting ready to work on a project as a ca house captain uh, in a couple of weeks. I will be replacing two toilets from my house. I mean, that's a very simple economic thing that we can do to help the owner stay in the house. So it's very hard to say how much does it cost to uh, stop displacement. In one house, it may be less than a thousand bucks. In another house, maybe 50,000 bucks. In another case, it may require a whole new house. So it's very hard to say uh, what is the cost to preserve people's ability to stay in the city. Uh, Sorry, I'm rumbling in, no. but... Uh, Move for one meeting one deferral? Meeting deferral? Yeah. yeah, second. I guess I just moved and seconded myself. Mm -hmm. uh, all in favor of a one meeting deferral? Aye. Uh, any opposed? No. And then to bring it back to you guys? Yes. Thank you very much for the consideration. Appreciate Thank it. you, Fabian. Right. Thank you, everyone. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks.